नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लेट द प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन बी क्यू इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ एल स्क्र प्लस के स्क्र द यूनिट प्राइस ऑफ लेबर एंड कैपिटल बी रुपीज थर्टी एंड रुपीज फोर्टी रेस्पेक्टिवली एंड टोटल कॉस्ट बी फाइव हंड्रेड एटी रुपीज देन द मैक्मम वैल्यू ऑफ के सॉरी क्यू सॉरी सब्जेक्ट टू द कॉस्ट कॉन्सटेंट इज वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्मम वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू हियर सब्जेक्ट टू द कॉस्ट कॉन्सटेंट सो वट वी आर बींग यून वी हैव द प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन दैट मीनस uh we want to maximize q is, is equal to under root of l square plus k square okay this is our objective function we want to maximize uh, this q subject to the cost constraint okay how do we write co uh, cost constraint cost constraint is simply uh, wage rate times number of laborers employed plus rental cost of capital into units of capital employed should be equal to total cost okay now what is uh, the uh, what we call the unit price of labor is uh, 30 so in place of w we have 30 l plus unit price of capital is 40 that means 40 k should be equal to what is total cost to 580 okay so we want to maximize uh, q is equal to this uh, stuff subject to this constraint okay so how do we maximize simple thing what we uh, will do here we will use the tangency condition okay if i can grab this out here also let us say this is our iso cost line okay and let us say this is our iso cost iso cost okay so optimal values of l and k are found where this iso cost okay uh, iso cost is tangent to this iso cost okay at this point we have optimal value of labor and capital okay first we need to find the optimal value of l and k and then plug in this uh, objective function to get the maximum value of q okay so this means here this uh, stuff means that marginal rate of marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital should be equal to the price ratio that means price of labor upon price of capital okay now price of labor as we are being given here uh, that is 30 okay which is equal to wage rate here so i can write it like this so here you can also write pl so i have written w for the sake of simplicity and price of capital is being given as is 40 okay now using this very stuff here now marginal rate of technical substitution means marginal productivity of labor upon marginal productivity of capital should be equal to pl upon pk okay simple simple thing here now what is mpl marginal product of labor that means we need to differentiate this production function partially with respect to l okay so if i rewrite this like i can write uh, this stuff q is equal to l square plus k square raised power 1 upon 2 okay same thing nothing happens i have just changed this under root in terms of power okay now we need to partially differentiate this function with respect to l to get the marginal product of labor okay so mpl is so differentiating this with respect to l so this 1 upon 2 this power becomes coefficient so we have exponent becomes coefficient 1 upon 2 then we have l square plus k square and this exponent is subtracted by 1 by power function rule and then we need to internally differentiate this l square that means we have the derivative of l square is 2l so this is our mpl divided by mpk so partially differentiating this production function with respect to capital this time okay same step this power becomes coefficient so we have 1 upon in our logins here 1 upon 2 l square uh, plus k 
k square and this exponent is subtracted by 1 and internally differentiating k square the derivative of k square is 2k okay should be equal to price of labor is 30 upon price of capital is 40 okay let us do some cancellation 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 gets cancelled so this whole stuff will get cancelled here this 2 and 2 will get cancelled here 0 and 0 gets cancelled that means l upon k is equal to 3 upon 4 which means l is equal to if i transpose this it will get multiplied so we have 3 uh, upon 4 k okay so this is the value of l now just plug this value uh, in this cost constraint okay so i can write 30 in place of l i have this very stuff that is uh, 3k upon 4 okay plus we have this 40k 40k should be equal to 580 which means <clears throat> so this is uh, this will come out to be 30 into 3 is 90 90 upon 4 comes out to be 22.5 22.5 k plus 40 k should be equal to 580 so adding these two k's we will get 62.5 k should be equal to 580 which implies k is equal to 580 upon 62.5 and when we divide we will get 9.28 as the optimal value of k so we have 9.28 as the value of k now to get the value of l just plug k is equal to this 9.28 again in the cost constraint okay so just plug k is equal to this stuff in cost cost constraint so we have 30 l so we have 30 l plus 40 in place of k we have this uh, 9.2 9.28 okay should be equal to 580 which means we have 30 l is equal to 580 uh, this 40 into 9.28 when calculated this comes out to be 371.2 that means 30L is equal to 208.8 or L is equal to 208.8 dividing this 30 okay <clears throat> which gives us the optimal value of L is 6.96 okay so we got the optimal value of L optimal value of K so L is equal to 6.96 okay now uh, what will be the maximum value of k q sorry so maximum value of q is just plug these optimal values into the objective function that means our q will be equal to under root of so the value of uh, l is 6.96 we have 6.96 square okay plus we have this 9.28 that is our k square 9.28 square which means we have uh, 48.44 the 6.96 comes out to be this stuff uh, plus uh, 9.828 square comes out to be 86.12 which gives us 134.56 is the value of k if we take the root uh, we have this square root comes out to be 11.6 okay that means the maximum value of q will be 11.6 okay i hope i make myself clear thank you